Okay, in this very spot, Scott and I speculating over what would be next for the founder of Joe Fresh, Joe Mimram, because yesterday the big news was that he was stepping down from the company he started. Well, barely 24 hours later, we have the answer for you this morning, because guess who is the newest dragon in the den? Mr. Minran himself. Thank you for coming in this My morning. My pleasure. My Congrats. pleasure. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds pretty good. That's exciting. Well, that was a fast turnaround, wasn't it, from yesterday? 24 hours. you got to keep you right in number one of the headlines. How on earth did this come about? Well, uh, you know, I've been in, in chats with uh, Dragon's Den in the past, and uh, my schedule was just so busy that it, I could never really... Uh, take advantage of it and uh, now that I freed myself now up that you a little retired bit, yesterday semi-retired semi <laughs> uh, I, I think this is a, a great choice for me isn't that terrific yeah. because you know I mean it, it's not really something to do in retirement it is a at least for a period of time anyway for it, the shooting it's very busy very intense from yes. what I hear and, and the, then and once it's on the air then your life is you know it's very right. busy again and here's the worst part for a fashion guy I have to wear the exact same outfit All every single Day. Can you imagine no, you're going to go no, mad? That's, I've, but I've you're going to choose a good I'm one. I know. Tear the clothes off of myself <laughs> at the end of the show. <laughs> Fashion guy, you, we know your background, of course, but I'm not even sure that everyone watching will know all the brands. But Caban, Alfred Sung, Club Monaco, of course, Joe Fresh, most famously of late. You're going to be the first retailer since Lawrence Lewin and La Senza, mm -hmm. I, I believe, uh, as one of the dra dragons, but also the fashion retail guy as well. Mm -hmm. What do you think that brings to the show? Oh, you know, retail uh, and fashion is one of the most competitive industries in the world. Um, and I think you really have to be a true entrepreneur to be successful. And you have to have staying power. You've got to have a, a differentiated product. So um, I, I think I can really look at an entrepreneur with, with that set of eyes. Uh, but I also have the business side, and I think there's a, a and you real do invest in all sorts of things in addition exactly. to, to fashion. Yeah, so so there's a blend between uh, sort of branding, fashion, and then all of the hard nuts of business and, and what it takes okay. uh, to do that. And uh, luckily, I also have a uh, an accounting background, so I I, I oh, so you'll be like Kevin was, uh, you know, the numbers, the numbers. Well, and let's the numbers see those are important. Uh, yeah, you, very you important. can't get away from that either. But you are also a genius at brand. I mean, is that something that you'll be looking at? Branding, for sure. I think uh, you control your brand and you control your destiny. And uh, building a brand is probably the best way to create value. So for me, I'll be looking at entrepreneurs who can bring that to the table as well. And what other kinds of pitches, or are you interested in particular in hearing, or entrepreneurs are interested in meeting, do you think? I think it's going to be uh, sort of catching the new waves. You know, what, what is new? What is up and coming? What is uh, in the zeitgeist? Um, how are people approaching new problems uh, that, that are being created today right. and, and attacking the market in a new way? And I think that's really what I'd be most interested in seeing. Okay, fascinating. All right. All right, so you're going to be taking this over. Let me ask you, how do you think this is going to change your life, becoming a dragon? Well, I don't know if it's life-changing. Uh, I think it'll certainly put me more out there. Um, I, I think um, meeting as many entrepreneurs in, in such a short period of time, it'll, it'll be very, very, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, uh, to be quite honest. I think it is from the Dragons. I've known them yeah. all over the years. Yeah. But, you know, but it has changed their lives. Has it? But then I was thinking about that because many of your, your predecessors, while very successful, maybe weren't public when mm -hmm. they started. I mm -hmm. mean, you are already well known and have a life, uh, you know, where Canadians know you and are um, you know, very, very visible at different events. And they became that in many ways. Right. When a million Canadians see them every single week, right. suddenly things change. So maybe in your case, it might not have the impact in terms of that I, I social think, catapult that right. it was I, for I, others. I, I think that's absolutely right. I, I think... Um, I think it, what's interesting, though, is stepping away from one high-profile position and then going into another high-profile position uh, does keep my life more even-keeled right. and more in balance. And, um, and this, this schedule also gives me the opportunity to spend more time with uh, my family and right. certainly with my wife, who's building an amazing business in Pink Tartan and, and is a great brand in and of itself. So 
uh, I'll be able to give her a bit of a hand. So it's, it's, uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. So David Chilton, I got to know in, in, in his time before and in, after becoming a dragon, I just sent him a, a note this morning saying, any advice for the man who's replacing you or thoughts? And he said, yes, tell him he's much more stylish and handsome than the dragon <laughs> he's replacing. So there you go. That from, from David so himself. Sweet. So you'll be the stylish dragon oh, or I don't so know. that's so sweet. That's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. Have, they've had stylish dragons. I Absolutely, think. but but it's hard. Like I said, it's only one outfit. How can how you have stylish to choose can you a good be? one at the start? <laughs> so you start shooting next month. We will look forward to watching next season, the tenth season of Dragons. In such a pleasure to have you yes, in, and thank you all the so best. Much. Thank best you of the so new much. with the new role. Thank you, Joe Mimran. You you will see next season on the Dragons Den. Let me get the airtime for you. Not that you need a reminder. 8 p.m. Wednesday night on CBC Television.